When you want to attack the enemy behind the front line, you need a weapon that can strike with deadly precision. I recently saw the MLRS, the multiple launch rocket system, hit a target accurately from 40 miles away. But what do you do if you need to strike further? To attack even deeper behind enemy lines, an airstrike can be ordered to rain down laser-guided bombs. But precision air attacks can be disrupted by the weather. I've heard about a new weapon that can operate in any weather, travels more than four times the distance of the MLRS, and hits enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy. This new weapon has brought me to White Sands, New Mexico. In the last 60 years, 45,000 missiles and rockets have been fired here. I'm about to see the testing of the latest generation of guided missiles. It's known as ATACMS. That's military shorthand for Army Tactical Missile System. It can travel up to 180 miles carrying a single 500-pound warhead. The Army Tactical Missile System is the Army's only long-range precision, surface-to-surface, -surface, precision strike missile capability. And its latest version is pushing technology to the max. It can hit a target from a near vertical drop, which increases its accuracy and lethality. Whether the target is in mountainous terrain or an urban building, nothing can escape the all-seeing eye and destructive power of ATACMS. An earlier version of ATACMS used cluster bombs to take out the enemy, but blanket bombing could lead to high civilian casualties. So it evolved into a single warhead. Major Samuel L. Peterson is the military backer behind the latest version of the ATACMS family. As we graduated into the 90s with the conflicts in Bosnia and Kosovo, we recognized a need to develop a unitary type of warhead instead of the bombless that could minimize the collateral damage on the targets that we were going after. A single warhead reduced civilian casualties, but it flew at a 45 degree angle. If anything was in the way of the target, it got hit first. In urban warfare, you need a weapon that can hit a specific target precisely. Otherwise, the damage can be catastrophic. The latest development in the ATACMS family is called the T2KU, and it's had a major overhaul. We enhance what is called the guidance system. We uh, manipulate it such that uh, we were able to change the downward slope on the vertical end of the trajectory. This was a key enhancement. By improving the guidance system, the missile gained a near vertical strike capability, focusing all of its crushing power on one specific spot. Using the vertical impact capability, we now are able to go into uh, different types of terrains that we haven't been able to in the past. For example, mountainous and urban terrains. This was not originally able to be done. 